Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat. And today we've got another Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial for you. And this one's all about rounding off values uh, to various decimal places. And also, as well as rounding off, we're going to look at truncating. So uh, let's get into Visual Basic and get started. All right, so first, uh, let's just talk about rounding off decimals. So this is like a bit of a mathematics review lesson. And with this, uh, we've got some values here like 2.781, and we want to round that off to two decimal places. Two decimal places is the most common thing to round off to because money and currency is done in two decimal places. And so that's what kind of people are used to, what they're familiar with and what they most easily understand. So a number like 2.781, which after the decimal point has one, two, three, three decimal places at the moment, we want to back that off to just have two decimal places. Now, we look at the number in the second decimal place, which in this case is eight. We've got it colored in blue there. So mark that number, and then we just look at the very next digit, just the next digit after that, which in this case is a one. Now, if something's between zero and four, all we do is we just get rid of that number, we discard it. So that will be taken away and discarded and rounded off, our answer will be 2.78. In the second example, 0.816, mark it at the second decimal place, which is where the one is, because that's one, two numbers after the decimal place. And then just look at the next digit after that, which is a six. Now six is bigger than five, so it's more than halfway to sort of the next number place. And so this one, we add one onto this one. So one plus one will make that into 0 0.82. So round it off to two decimal places, that's 0 0.82. All right, so we just got this picture box on here on the program. It's not really a big part of it. But we've written a Visual Basic program with the code in. Luckily, we don't have to do complicated coding like we had to think with our brain to do these ones here, because Visual Basic has built in um, math functions, all right, which will do most of the work for us. So don't get scared off straight away. Look, guys, it's not going to be that hard. Guys and girls, it's not going to be that hard. All right, so let's try this out. So if we put 2.781 in, we actually found two methods uh, for doing this. So method one, we'll show you the code in a little while. That gives an answer of 2.78, so that's good. That's rounded off correctly. If we try out the second method, which is a different set of coding, that also gives 2.78. Okay, so we'll look at 0 0.816, the second example. We're expecting because there's a 6 there that it's going to end up as 0.82, and it does. And by both methods, give us a 0.82, okay, for our answer. So that program's all working fine and giving the exact same answers if you did it old school style and actually did the mathematics yourself. Okay, so this lesson now. It's going to mainly be a show and tell lesson, but we'll give you this Word document, a link to this in the YouTube description, so that what you'll be able to do is you can get this Word document, copy and paste the code, um, and try this out for yourself, and refer back to it and use this code whenever you need to do some rounding off to decimal places. Now, this is a project here which we will be hopefully building and doing a video about, the blood alcohol content estimator. Uh, for people when they're pulled over by the police in Australia for a breathalyzer or a breath test, uh, alcohol content test. And with this calculation here, when we entered in the values and apply the blood alcohol uh, formula, because the formula's got some dividing in it, we get this really long decimal answer like this, okay? 0 0.071505190303 and so on and so on. Now, with that, it would be a lot more user friendly or more effective, as we say, with our programming if we took that down to maybe just four decimal places, all right? Not having this giant long number. The giant long number there just makes it look really complicated to the user, makes the answer look really hard to see because like there's so much noise there with all of the extra numbers. And so we want to round it off, but in this case, not to two decimal places, but to four decimal places, all right? So this is the current code that does that calculation. We've got um, the a DBL, a double variable, so I can do decimals, and that's actually the form for uh, your blood alcohol content. 
And if that comes out for the state of Victoria, where we are here in Melbourne, Australia, if that comes out bigger than 0.05, then you're over the legal limit uh, and you get prosecuted for drink driving and lose your license and stuff like that. Otherwise, um, if you're not beyond that 0.05, that's okay, you're under the limit and your blood alcohol content is, and we just tell them uh, the value that we calculated. All right, now we're just gonna add a line of code in between here. As soon as we've calculated it and got that big, long, horrible decimal answer, we'll put an extra line of code in just here, uh, which will round it off, and then we can display the rounded off version, all right? So the code we're gonna use is method one, which is a really simple, compact code. So we've just got a comment in there, round off calculated DBL back, to four decimal places. So you just put math.round and then brackets our variable dbl back comma four because we want to do four decimal places. And we're going to use midpoint rounding away from zero. Okay, this is a built in visual basic function, a math function that will do all the rounding off, which we showed you how to do in old school mathematics style. So when we rerun it uh, with that, we just get a much more compact, nicer to look at and easy to understand answer that is 0.0715, okay? And that person would be over the limit because our limit in Victoria is 0.05 for your blood alcohol uh, content. Now, as well as rounding off, we're also going to look at truncating um, later on in this video as well, because truncating is different to rounding off. And it's important you know the difference so that you're not just Googling for some code snippet sometime and grab the truncating stuff, which is often called rounding off, which it isn't, um, and use that code snippet by mistake. Okay, so rounding off to two decimal places. Something like 2.557, that's going to round up to 2.56 because of that 7 there. Something like 2.5574321. It doesn't matter how many additional numbers are here, you only look at the third decimal place if you want to go to two decimals. And so that's also 2.56. 2.553, the three isn't big enough to bump up this number here. So that'll just stay as 2.55, we just discard the three. And here we've got 378912, but it doesn't matter about these other numbers, the important one's the one that comes straight after the point where we need to round off, which is here. And that's a three and zero to four, you just discard all of that and the answer would be 2.55, which should actually be uh, bold. So we'll just make that bold and do a resave. Okay, so we showed you that Visual Basic program where we did method one and method two. So on that form, if you want to build this program and just try it out yourself, uh, this is called text input value. This text box in here is text rounded method one, and this one is txt rounded method two. We've got two buttons there. The first button's called btn method one, and the second button's called BTN method two. So we're using Hungarian and camel case naming conventions as we should do for all of our programs. Okay, now the program for the two different method buttons is like this. Uh, the one we were actually looking at was this second one where we use midpoint rounding. There's actually a quick one liner you can do. If you've got your answer in a um, text box, you can just say that the, um, whatever that, text box is, just do math.round, the value of that text box, comma two, which will do two decimal places. If we wanted it to only be one decimal place, we'd change this to comma one. If we wanted it to be to four decimal places, we'd change comma four. So that's kind of the quick one liner. Uh, just take your input value, which is in this text box, and do this math functioning on it, get the value of what's in the text box, so it becomes a number rounded off to two decimal places. This second method is one which we found on Stack Overflow, uh, and that takes a little bit more coding. So this one here, we had to dimension a DBL input number as double, um, take what was in the input text box and cast it as a double, which if you've looked at our previous lesson about the adding two numbers, Visual Basic, uh, we talked about casting and conversion in that. And then we can just do our DBL input number comma, the decimal places goes in the middle of this and the function um, method we're using that goes with that math.round function is called midpoint rounding away from zero. Okay, so that does the same thing because when we ran that program at the start of this video, you saw both methods 
produced the exact same correct rounding. They worked for 2.781 OK. Didn't matter whether you use the long way from stack overflow or whether you just use the quick one liner, they both did the job. And the same with the 0.816, which should have come up as 0.82 because of that six there. That all works fine with both methods. All right, let's talk about truncation. Truncation is another way to take a value down to be only two decimal places or one decimal place, whatever kind of level of um, decimal places you want to have in the answer. But in truncation, it's a lot simpler than rounding off. Truncation, you don't care what the numbers are. You just go to your two decimal places, like 2.54. We just go to the four, and then anything that's after that, we just discard, just like getting a pencil eraser and rubbing that out. So even though there's a seven here, and with rounding off, that would become 2.55. With truncation, you just discard, or you just trash or throw away these things which are highlighted in yellow here. Now, we'll just add something onto our program to do truncating as well. Okay, so if you want to do truncating, uh, you can use this sort of code for that. All right, so we just have our number for truncation converted here from what was put in the input box. And to do the truncating, you use this, take the number that you've got and subtract away the remainder, what the rest is after the second decimal point. All right, so that's how that's working to do the truncation. You need this sort of code here if you wanted to do that. And in the output run, when you truncate, rounding up will not occur, okay? So if we put in our 0.186, do method one, method two, rounding, it's 0.82. Now, but in truncating, it won't be 0.82 because it'll just take the six and just throw it away and you just end up with 0.81. So truncating isn't generally used. Most people want to do rounding off, but sometimes if a program spec or someone wanted to have truncating and they specified that explicitly, you would have to use this other coding to do it. All right, now how did we find out these things um, to work out how to do them? Because we had that blood alcohol calculator we developed and then it was giving out those horrible long answers and we thought, Wow, we've got to shorten these answers and make it simpler for the user. Uh, now, you need to use Google, and Stack Overflow is your best source of code snippets to use in your program. So you need to be able to sort of work this stuff out for yourself. When you're stuck on a program, there's not going to be a teacher or someone else around to help you all the time or another programmer. You need to work out things yourself. So all we did was, we in Google, we put round off result in Visual Basic. And then we saw what came up in the search results. Now straight away, because we know Stack Overflow is generally the best answers on Google, we went to the Stack Overflow to this link. And this one here was actually a truncating program. So you need to be careful because we could have just grabbed this and used it straight away thinking, yeah, that'll do our rounding off, no problem. Um, not test it properly and we'd find that we're actually doing truncating and not getting the right answers, especially if money's involved because you want that accurate um, to the nearest cent and so on. So this one with truncating, like something that's 878 here, should have come out 88 with rounding off, but it comes out 87 because this code is actually truncating code. It's not rounding off code. So just be careful with what you find on Stack Overflow and make sure you check it out and test it. So we found another Google result in Stack that had a Stack Overflow address, so we tried that one out. And this is the one which does the midpoint rounding away from zero. So this was actually how we learned how to do this because previously we just used that method one, the simple one-liner on the text box. But this is another method which kind of works better because it does more um, kind of pure mathematics. But look, they both give the same answer anyway. So we found that and it's best to then just write a quick little program like we did and just try these things out so we did that so here's the code if you want to try out the truncating and copy and paste that into the form and you know this is the quick short way the one liner so both methods work as we've shown in this lesson and it's up to you really which method you choose to use for rounding off when you're doing projects 
Uh, now, why do we most often choose rounding off to two decimal places? Okay, the reason for that is because it's money and currency all goes to dollars and cents, and the cents give you the two decimal places uh, on some money figure. So that's the format that people know and they're familiar with and they most easily understand. So probably two decimal places is the best uh, amount to round off to, unless the program specifically calls for something else to do. And rounding off is usually going to happen when you've done some dividing. So if you're doing some sort of formula like a blood alcohol level, or if you create an app to work out people's body mass index for whether they're overweight or not, there's some dividing in that and you will get long decimal answers and they need to be rounded off because there's nothing that turns people more off something than some giant long decimal answer because you know people aren't really into maths they had uh, horrible experiences at high school or they're having them right now perhaps involved with mathematics and yeah you want to make things nice and easy and effective and create a good user experience which in the trade is called ux user experience and so that's the end of this video. Remember, we're releasing videos every week. They're not always on Visual Basic, but for the moment going forward, they probably will be. And if you found this video useful and it helps you out, make sure you give us a like and enjoy programming with Microsoft Visual Basic, the number one best education learning language for people who want to be computer programmers.